Midwest Morning Hunt coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch chambers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, I came back to Facebook after about seven years and I've been posting some of my cartoons and some videos from this channel. And, uh, well, a gentleman of your, Luis, uh, in invited me to join the Midwestern Wet Shavers group up on Facebook. And I was uh, very flattered to uh, be asked to join. And I joined and I found out that they commissioned a shave soap to be made for group members. And I got in just under the wire. Uh, so I went ahead and I purchased it and it arrived the other day. I had a shave with it. It's marvelous. And it's Midwest Morning Hunt from Uncle John Soaps. There it is right there. And as you can see, it's made for the Midwestern Wet Shavers from Uncle John's Soap, right there. I think I got it wrong the first time. UncleJohnsSoap.com, okay? Get a screenshot of that so you know where you're going. Okay, so anyhow, this has got a beautiful scent. Very clean, very crisp, absolutely, it's got that morning vibe. Uh, a walk in the woods, campfires, a little bit of whiskey in there also. Uh, boy, yeah, really, really nice. So we're going to shave with it. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Emperor Meiji Razor. Boy, this is a real, this is a, just like built like a little tank. This is just fantastic. Love the weight and the size. I'm also going to be using a Gillette Nasset Razor in there. Used it the other day, this is the second shave with it. So I'm gonna start this at about five and a half. Now, the Gillette Nasset ra uh, razor blades came courtesy of another viewer, J. Michael Hines. Thank you very, very much. He also sent a soap that I'll be reviewing as well. And again, I got the best viewers on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so he sent some of these. These are fantastic blades. Uh, I'll have a link below, uh, an affiliate link, yes. I'll have a link below. These are fantastic. I'm going to definitely buy some more. Like them a lot. Uh, I'm going to be using my uh, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb brush. Like this one a lot. And I'm going to finish it off with a Shash Ella Block and also the Midwest Morning Hunt Aftershave. Now, I am going to shake this in other videos. Um, Doug Smythe of Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement said, don't, don't shake uh, his aftershave because uh, that's not good. Right here on the label, it says, shake well before use, okay? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake well before use. So I guess the moral of the story there is read the label and check with the, uh, the seller and manufacturer what is proper for their particular aftershave product. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit of hot water on top of this puff. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. There's just a little bit there. And I'm going to go ahead and soak this brush. And I'm going to give it just a few minutes, the equivalent of a quick shower. And uh, I'll be right back to start the shave. Hang in there with me. Okay, so that's been the equivalent of a good quick hot shower. Got a towel here now. And I'm going to take this uh, little bit of bloom water here. Just put that in the sink. Gonna wet the face and get to the shave. Now, the thing I've noticed with this soap, and I've used it once before, it's very good. But the thing I've noticed is you wanna start with, I'm gonna give this brush a real good ring. You don't wanna start with a very, very damp brush. You wanna start a little more dry than most other shaving soaps you might have used. This is a towel-based soap, but I have found that less is more when it comes to water starting out. You can always add a little bit of water to it, and that's what I'm doing here. Okay, see, that's a good brush load right there, and I can just dip it in a little bit and add just a little more water, and this will actually result in a nice thick lather with really, really good glide. It's a beautiful scent. Oh, that's nice. A little too much water and 
you use a little too much water with this particular soap, it might get a little foamy on you. So you want to add just a little bit of water. This stuff, this soap, makes a great lather with just a little bit of water. That's been my experience the first time around. And you can see I'm getting a nice lather here. Good slickness with this. Wonderful, wonderful scent. Again, beautiful scent. And kudos and bravo to everybody up there on the Midwestern Wet Shavers group, all the administrators who coordinated this. Absolutely wonderful. This is my first soap from uh, UncleJohnsSoap.com. And uh, it's a nice one. And I'm going to look at other scents and see what, he, what, see what else he has in his soap selection. Oh yeah, this is more than enough for three passes. We're ready to go. Okay, here's my razor, and I got it set at five and a half. That's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna heat that guy up. Swirl in the sink. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's beautiful glide. That really, really is. Oh, is that nice and smooth. Wow, that's fantastic. That really is. Very, very nice. I've got about a day and a half worth of uh, beard growth here. Now, the, uh, the Emperor Razor and the Crusader Razor by Vikings Blade and the Meiji Emperor Razor has this asymmetrical head. One side is sculpted, one side of the razor head is a straight bar, so one side is a little, just a little milder, a little smoother than the other, um, which is nice because in just doing my neck, I switch to the milder side, and that helps a lot. But I do use it, you know, back and forth interchangeably like a regular double edge razor blade. What I'm saying is it works both ways very comfortably for me. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Beautiful scent. It really is filling the shaving area here. That is a nice, clean, beautiful morning scent. Really nice. And that first pass was wonderful. I think I'm only going to need two passes. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I've got plenty of my brush. A little bit of water on the face and the lather comes right back. I think this soap has some wonderful, wonderful glide to it. Look at that. Just a nice lather. As I say, you don't need a lot of water to get this going. That's what I find to be so amazing. Look at that. Oh, that's great. That really, that's fantastic. Well, you know what? I've already made up my mind. I'm only going to do two passes. And I'm going to do a mixed pass. I'm going to go east to west here and against the grain or south to north on the neck. So we're going to turn this down to about three and a half right there. Three and a half. That's where we're going to go. So we're going to go a mixed pass east to west and then south to north on the neck. So here we go. Let me just get Right there like that. Okay. All right, here we go.
Just some really, really nice, nice glide. Really nice, no tugging, no pulling. Really, just terrific, terrific glide. Second pass done, let's rinse. Yeah, I'm definitely done. That's, I don't need a third pass. That's really nice. Massive blade, nice and smooth. Uh, really, really terrific in the the Meiji adjustable razor. And again, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mild razor shaver. Uh, I like razors that are on the neutral to the mild side, and that's where I like to use the Vikings blade adjustable razors, right there about five and a half down, sometimes six, depending on what blade I'm using. But the Nasset is a stainless blade, so it has some nice smoothness. Uh, and I think it has a little more aggression than say an Astra green, at least to me. To my feel. Uh, look here, look at this. See, had plenty of, look at that, look at that peak. Look at that peak. Look at that, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, this really nice shaving soap. Terrific. And again, my experience after two shades has been Less is more when it comes to adding water. Don't add a lot of water right away. I mean, you can soak the puck a little bit. Don't soak it a lot. And then, you know, give your brush a good ring. I'm using a synthetic brush, and I gave it a, gave it a good ring, and really started dry and almost, not dry, but it wasn't really, really overly damp. Okay, so here's my two final rinses, one warm from the cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Two splashes is all I need. The slickness seemed to go with those last two splashes right after the shave. Cold water rinse. Yeah, an extra splash for good measure. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me. Boy, <laughs> this has been a great shave. Very nice. That's a nice shave. That really is. Boy, that's a, that's got a, the scent is so nice and clean. It doesn't overwhelm, which is nice, but man, if you were gonna go camping or to an outdoor resort, something like that. For the weekend, this is the soap you would take. <laughs> really, if you were out in the open, yeah, this is definitely the soap you would take. Chash, Allen Block. All right, here we go. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Maybe a micro zing here and there, but no stinging at all. Just really, really very, very nice smooth pass of the almond block. Terrific, really terrific. And it just, it's great. What a, it's a great feeling, especially after having a day and a half worth of beard growth. And, I, and you know, I don't like to have that much hair on my face. I like, the traditional wet shave. I love doing it and I love the clean shave and feel and appearance. So yeah, I was really looking forward to this shave. I'm just gonna clean my brush a little bit here. Uh, just 
rinse that out rather quickly. Yeah, this is a nice brush. Really, really nice. Okay, just gonna, and I, I like to just fan it over my fingers a little bit here. And then we'll just blot and buff a little bit, blot and buff. These clean up so quickly, so easily. I mean, are you ready for this? Check this out, ready? Look at that. I mean, it's very nearly dry. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's terrific. I could spend a little more time and get it even, even a little bit better, but boy, that's just fantastic. Really, really nice. Uh, we'll just sit, well, we'll sit right there like that. All right, the uh, Midwest Morning Hunt after shave. Shake it up. I showed you in the beginning, shake it up, so I'm shaking well. Shake well, ingredients, witch hazel, polysorbate, 20, and fragrance, right there. That's what he's got in there. All right, now this has a milky white kind of a look to it. Here, let me just, show, I can show you. Here, just, just put a little bit out there. You see that? Kind of milky white there. Here, see if we get a little more. So you can see. See that? It's milky white. Okay, so we're going to put a few here. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know, it has, again, same great scent, not overwhelming, and it appears to have, or it feels to me, to have some moisturizing qualities in there. I don't think it, you know, again, I think that's because of lack of alcohol. Alcohol is not listed on this. So I'm going to use some upstairs like this. And that should work. Great shave. That was really, really nice. That was, boy, that's ter that was terrific. That really was terrific. I'm very, very surprised. There are so many great artists and soap makers out there. Here's another one, Uncle John's Soap. I mean, uh, check them out. Uh, it, it really, this was really a wonderful, wonderful shave. And I think as I use this soap a little more and kind of dial in to the correct ratio of soap, to water on the brush, to soaking the puck, that sort of thing. I think I'm gonna get, you know, I really, really dial in to where the lather will really explode and even get a little bit thicker than what it was. It was nice and thick and you can see the nice peak, but I think it has potential to be even more so. And it, as again, it is a tallow-based soap. Coconut oil, tallow, shea butter, castor oil, stearic acid, glycerin, and fragrance right there. So that's what's in there, and really, uh, great moisturizing qualities from the coconut oil and the shea butter all come together. And boy, this, this aftershave, very, very nice touch. And again, I like the scent a lot. This is perfect. And again, I'm getting hints of a real clean earth kind of a scent. A little bit of whiskey in there. I even contacted the uh, owner and creator of the soap, and he said, yeah, there is a little bit of whiskey booziness in there. Uh, and it does have that morning forest walk kind of a scent, campfire. Uh, yeah, really, really very, very nice. So this, is, this has been a really nice surprise. And my thanks to everybody at the Midwestern Wet Shavers who coordinated with Uncle John's Soap to bring this to all its members. This was absolutely wonderful. So uh, I don't know if it's available for the general public. You know what, it should be because it's such a nice scent. And uh, again, I'm gonna go up there and see what else uh, they have to offer because it really, really is terrific, terrific shave soap. And I absolutely love the aftershave because it's so different than others that I have used. Uh, really, really terrific stuff. Okay, that's it. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Uh, check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgeteam.com slash blog for my comics with George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. 
Check out phoenixshaving.com, phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. Both addresses get you the same great place where you can get some great shave soap and great shaving gear. Speaking of great shaving soap, unclejohnssoap.com. This was great. This was really a wonderful scent. And based on this, I'm going to get some more because uh, I was really impressed by this. Really terrific, terrific glide with this shaving soap. And uh, I mean, I just, I just had a great shave with it. Uh, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon. Thank you.